Welcome back to Pharma Health Insights. Have you ever been confused between qualification and validation in pharma? Maybe you've seen these words in SOPs, regulatory documents, or during audits, and thought, aren't they kind of the same? No, they are fundamentally different, but also deeply connected. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive into both concepts. We'll explain what qualification and validation really mean under GMP. We'll unpack terms like IQ, OQ, PQ, DQ, process validation, cleaning validation, and more. Plus, we'll break it all down in simple language with technical accuracy. So whether you are a student or a professional, this will upgrade your understanding. Let's set the stage. GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices, requires that pharmaceutical products are consistently produced and controlled. To meet this, GMP has two backbone pillars, facilities and equipment must perform properly. Processes must reliably produce quality products. This is where qualification and validation come in. Qualification proves that equipment, utilities, and systems are installed, operate, and perform as intended. Validation proves that the manufacturing process does what it's supposed to, again and again, giving consistent quality. Regulatory bodies like the FDA, EMA, WHO, and PICS emphasize both in their guidelines, like EUGMP Annex 15, FDA's Process Validation Guidance, and WHO's Validation Guidelines. Let's now zoom in on qualification. Technical Definition Qualification is the documented verification that facilities, systems, and equipment are properly designed, installed, and operate as intended. In simple words, it's proof that your equipment and systems are set up right and work right. Let's have a look at the types of qualification, the four-step model, DQ, design qualification, are we buying, installing the right thing, example, you are ordering a new autoclave. DQ ensures it meets URS, user requirement specification, before it's built, IQ, installation qualification, is the equipment installed properly as per specifications, checks include, utilities, electrical, water, air, components, part numbers, calibration certificates, OQ, operational qualification. Does it operate according to the functional specs? Test include, temperature mapping alarms, sensor speed, pressure per revolution per minute settings, PQ, performance qualification. Does it perform consistently under real conditions? Example, running three batches on a tablet press to prove it consistently makes tablets of acceptable quality. Let's take an example of, tablet compression machine. During DQ, you define that you need a machine with 16 stations, 10,000 tablets per hour, 1030 kN compression force. During IQ, verify all parts installed per manual, utilities connected. During OQ, run placebo tablets, test speed, weight variation. During PQ, produce real batches and check hardness, disintegration, weight, thickness, everything meets specs. Now let's move on to validation. Here's the technical definition. Validation is the documented evidence that a specific process, method, or system consistently produces a product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality attributes. Simply, we are proving that the process works every time. Here are the types of validation. Process validation ensures that manufacturing processes, like mixing, granulation, filling, work consistently. Cleaning validation proves that after cleaning, no significant residues or contaminants remain. Analytical method validation proves that testing methods are accurate, precise, reproducible. Transport, shipping validation ensures product remains within acceptable conditions, e.g., temperature, during transit. Now let's have a look at three process validation stages, as per FDA. Stage 1 is process design. In this stage develop your process. Identify CPPs, critical process parameters, and CQAs, critical quality attributes. Stage 2 is process qualification. This is the validation batches stage. Usually three consecutive batches are run under normal conditions. Stage 3 is continued process verification. After validation, keep monitoring to ensure process remains in control over time. Let's take an example of validation of syrup manufacturing. In stage 1, you design a process, such as, dissolve sugar, add actives, mix for 30 minutes at 40 degrees Celsius. 
In stage 2, you run 3 batches, check pH, viscosity, assay, microbial limits, all meat specs. In stage 3, you set up routine checks, one batch per month is trend to catch any drifts. Now let's see the clear and technical key differences between qualification and validation. Let's quickly break down the key differences between qualification and validation. First, focus, qualification deals with equipment, systems, and utilities, like your tablet press or water system. Validation focuses on processes and methods, for example, coating tablets or cleaning tanks. Second, objective, qualification checks if equipment works as designed. Validation ensures the process consistently meets product specs. Next, guidance, qualification follows EU GMP Annex 15, WHO, and ISPE. Validation is driven by FDA process validation guidance and WHO guidelines. For example, qualification, IQ, OQ, PQ of a tablet press. Validation, process validation of the tablet coating process. Life cycle approach, qualification is usually one time, unless there's a major change. Validation is ongoing, with continuous monitoring. Finally documentation, qualification, protocols and reports, IQ, OQ, PQ. Validation, validation master plan and reports. In short, qualification equals proving your equipment works. Validation equals proving your process works, over and over again. Let's look at the common mistakes, and how to avoid them. Confusing qualification and validation. Make a simple rule, machines equals qualification, processes equals validation. Keep that clear to stay compliant. Missing PQ. Some firms skip or rush performance qualification. Auditors flag this fast. Always complete IQ, OQ, PQ fully. No requalification, revalidation. When you move equipment or tweak processes, remember, you may need to requalify or revalidate. Poor documentation. Stick to Alcoa Plus, attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, accurate, plus complete, consistent, enduring, available. Skipping continued process verification. Validation doesn't end after three batches. Keep monitoring with trends and periodic reviews to stay in control. Let's see what the regulatory expectations are. Regulators expect you to have a clear validation master plan, VMP. Show complete qualification reports, IQ, OQ, PQ. Provide validation protocols and batch records. Demonstrate risk assessment and justification for the level of qualification, validation. Present continued monitoring data to prove control over time. Missing or incomplete documentation can trigger FDA Form 483 observations, WHO, MHRA deficiencies, or even a warning letter. All right. To sum it all up, qualification is your proof that the equipment and systems work as intended. Validation is your proof that the process works consistently and reliably. Both are mandatory under GMP and are essential for ensuring patient safety and product quality. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to Pharma Health Insights and tap the like button, it really helps the channel grow. Have any questions or a tricky validation scenario you are facing? Drop it in the comments, I'm here to help. And don't miss our next deep dive, we're covering cleaning validation in detail. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, till next time, be inspired and keep learning.